A player new to his double-A squad gets a tip from one of his coaches. Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining us. Minor League Baseball from the double-A level coming up. It's the Binghamton Rumble Ponies and the first pitch coming at you right after the break. Just about to get started and towing the slab, Brian Keller. And That's singing a special day for him. He's making his major league debut here. And I'm sure he's got some nerves. He'll oh, this one high and deep. Way back there. And it's gone. Third home run of the season. And just like that, they're out front. It's 2-0. When you're working with this kind of velocity, so critical that you move the ball around, work quickly, and make sure that you keep that hitter off balance. Clearly not fooled by the little. Back here at the ballpark, we head to the bottom of the Freddy second. Gun. Now it's the right fielder, Freddy Valdez. Right fielder. Freddy. Bounce to the left side. Chambers handles the chance. One up, one down. Batting seven. One down. And now it's switch hitting third baseman Scott Chambers. He's already homered in this game. He's hitting for that pop. Came out of the gates really strong. In there for strike one. One down, base is empty. Hammered down the line. Could be extra bases. Around first, heading for two. In safely, it's a double at his second hit. Well, that'll make you feel good as a hitter right there. When you connect and it jumps off your bat like that, you're thinking double at the very. So digging in, Scott Chambers. He's been such a good hitter with runners in scoring position. Some guys just take it to another level. For him right now at the plate, it's like everyone else is in slow motion. That one is absolutely belted. And it's gone! He rockets one to right. He's done it again. His second homer of the game. And they add to their lead. It's 8-1. Well, he went up there 0-0 looking to do damage. I think he had his sight set on that pitch. He went and got it and circled the bases. And now the catcher comes up to him. Roldani Baldwin. The batter. Number 10 at second. Number 35 on at first with two down. Rolled over to third. That's the third out. Here's the third baseman, Scott Chambers. No matter what, you're playing this kind of rival. Take your game to another level. Here comes a pitch. On the ground, right side. Whips it to first, and that'll do it. Welcome back. Leading off, Scott Chambers. Leading it off. The Come third on. baseman. Let it rip right here. Scott Chambers. The pitch. On the ground, right side. Base hit. That was smoked through the infield. He kind of rolled over on this pitch a little bit, but he got enough behind it to shoot it through for a knock, and you'll take that any time you can get him to find a hole. Well, the fourth inning proved to be the real turning point. They looked locked in at the plate after that first time through the order where it just seemed that they were off balance a little bit, but once they started really recognizing the pitches, everything started to click. 10-2, the final, final in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Shambi saying so long. No error. They left 11 men on base. And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. Some double-A baseball coming at you. 
It's the Binghamton Rumble Ponies and the Portland Sea Dogs. Just about set to go now. And starting this one is Andrew Politi. What do we need to know here? And his last star couldn't carry his warm-ups in the bullpen out to the mound. Couldn't get out of the first inning. Very frustrating for this guy. But today, he's focused on having a quality start and pitching his team to a win. Decker makes the play. And there's two down. He was all over that fastball right there. I tell you what, if he gets... Now it's going to be Scott Chambers. He's 0 for 1. Well, in their win last game, this guy came up with two home runs. Obviously trying to keep the roll going here in this one. And the right-hander back to work. That one ripped. He can't get there. It's a base hit. And they strike first as they take a 1-0 lead. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. Now I could watch base hits like that one all day long, and so could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line driving. So two down. Now at the plate, Scott Chambers. One for two. The pitch. Here's a drive out to right center. Way back there. Look out. Gone. That'll fire up the dugout. Home run number five on the season, and they grab the lead. It's 3-1. Love to see a hitter aggressive on the first pitch of an at-bat. You watch him from the on-deck circle, so when you step in the box, you're ready to pull the trigger wherever it's at. Really good job by the hitter. Total conviction on that swing. And now, Scott Chambers for the fourth time tonight. The third baseman. Scott Chambers. The pitch line and that's a base hit Take the turn find the ball another big game he's looking pretty much unstoppable one gone runner at first now the third baseman now Scott back. Chambers the third baseman. Hartley Chambers. back to work swung on belted that one back there Banks off the wall. Lead runner holds it third. So two runners in scoring position and just one out. Having a really nice game here. That's his second extra base hit. Absolutely blasted that one into the gap, but just didn't have quite enough to clear the wall out there. Maybe a little more elevation under it and it carries over, but well, a real nice performance out of the pen. This guy is not the one who usually gets the final out, but extended his role a little bit and helped his team get the win. He got the save. Hello, baseball fans, and welcome. Double-A baseball on the show, coming your way. It's the Binghamton Rumble Ponies and the Portland. So just about set now. And today's starting pitcher, Chris Murphy. A really good outing for him last time. Scattered two runs, was attacking hitters, getting ahead in the count. Great performance. We'll see if he can do it again in this one. Swing and a ball hammered left field. Make the turn, make the turn. And that's a two-out double. That extends his hitting streak to an even dozen, Singy. Do opposing pitchers start to take notice when a guy is on a roll like this? Yeah, I think so, Boog. It's not like it changes the scouting report on a guy or anything like that too much, but you're aware of who's swinging the hottest bat, and that's definitely him right now. Two outs, runner at first. And next will be the cleanup hitter, number 23. Four. The first baseman. Kicks and deals. On the ground to third, Chambers collects. Fires over to first. That's the third out, inning over. So up next, Scott Chambers, a switch hitter batting right. And the pitch. He swings and drives one out to deep left field. It's gone! So he just clears the wall. It's his sixth home run of the season. It's seven nothing. Chris, he's homered in back-to-back -back games now. Yep, seeing the ball well, and he's got his timing locked in. He's looking pretty dangerous at the dish right now. Well, a great job here of staying within himself. You know that if you get a knock, you're going to drive in. At the play, Scott Chambers. Now batting, third baseman. Scott Chambers. 
And here it comes. Back up the middle and a base hit. Lynn coming home. He'll score, and it's an eight-run lead. And the throw gets away. That one really hurts. You're already down in the game, and that error puts you even further behind. Just can't let it compound from here, though. you got to flush it, get ready for the next one, make a play, get back in the dugout. And welcome back. All set for the top of the sixth. Stepping in, Scott Chambers. And it may be a long shot, but a triple here will give him the cycle. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. Seems like he got exactly what he was looking for right there. And now it's going to be Scott Chambers. Oh, yeah, Boog. He's on the brink of one of your favorite Chambers. milestones. He's completed three legs of the cycle. I love me some cycle. To the right side. Gathers and throws to first. And it's a 1-2-3 inning. Now the batter now, number 23. The batter. Number 23. Popped up left side. Yeah, Chambers it, it. under it. Pulls it in, and that's the ball game. Certainly can't complain about a lack of action in this one. A high-scoring game. Purists might not love it, but pretty impressive showing at the plate from both. Oh. It's the Binghamton Rumble Ponies and the Portland Sea Dogs. First pitch coming your way next. Ready to go now. Getting the nod in this one, Connor Siebel. Very dominant his last time out, picked up the win, only allowed one run. These guys would love to see him back on his game in this one. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. Takes the turn, he's digging for second. Not stopping, he's going for three. Puts the tag on him, leaving the box, and that's the third out. No score as we head to the bottom of the first. And now, Blaze Jordan. Cannon on second. McDonough on at first with nobody out. On the ground, two ball. Steps on the bag for one. Over to first, but it's offline. Batting four. The first baseman. So here's the cleanup hitter, number 23. Now batting. Number 23. Slice the other way. That's a base hit. And now it's switch hitting third baseman Scott Chambers. He's hitting for that pop. Came out of the gates really strong. Liner, base hit. Uh, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Wasting no time. He's two for two now on the night. And Scott Chambers getting ready to hit. He's been such a good hitter with runners in scoring position. Some guys just take it to another level. For him right now at the plate, it's like everyone. On a line, base hit. Mauricio rounds third, headed for the plate. High bounce takes it over the fence for an automatic double. As a run scores. He puts a great swing on that. All set for the start of the inning. Now, here is Scott Chambers. No matter what, you're playing this kind of rival to take your game to another level. The pitch. Hard hit, left field, base hit. Go on, go two, go Makes two, the turn and heads for second. And he greets the new arm from the bullpen with a double. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. Just a great approach. Looked like that was exactly what he wanted to do with that pitch. And right off the bat, he knew he was taking that wide turn at first to head for second. Now a huge at bat in this game coming up. 
Nick Decker, the next to hit. You know, this is kind of a tough matchup as a left-handed hitter facing a left-handed pitcher. What you tell yourself is, I want to stay square to the plate, try to hit the ball over the shortstop's head. Tosses across the first. That ends the inning. Ninth inning coming up. We are tied 2-2. And the batter will be the shortstop, Cameron Cannon. Here's a guy who's been struggling so far this year. It's only late April, but still hoping he'll turn it around soon. I mean, these guys know they have to get going out of the gates, but... Well, we'll hold that thought as that's the third out, and we'll end the inning. Nine isn't enough to decide. We are off to extra innings. We are tied 2-2. Back here at the ballpark, we're in extras here. Here's the third baseman, Scott Chambers the pitch hammer base hit runner around third the throw is offline and he's in to score it's 3-2 picks himself up in RBI that's about as textbook as it gets got his stride and load out of the way early he stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front man that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee Well, this is a big win on the road and going extras into 10. Uh, so hard to pull those out, but I think this team did a great job of keeping the crowd out of the ball game late. When you can do that, it kind of calms everything down, keeps the adrenaline of the opposing team down a bit, and you can steal a win and get out of here happy. 3-2 the final score, a one.